I was driving down 101, and at the side of the road, there was a large billboard with the sun rising. And it said um, something to the effect that Santa Clara County has more PhDs in high technology than any place in the world. And I, a light went off. It was an epiphany. And I said, that's it. I'm going to go into high tech. Throughout the early 1960s, Thousands of young men and women poured into the Santa Clara Valley every month, lured by the booming electronics and defense industries. And though each passing year brought new companies into being, and with them new jobs, Fairchild Semiconductor was one of the Valley's biggest draws. I was working at Transitron, and I really wanted to come to Fairchild because uh, at that time, that's where things were happening. The technology at Fairchild blew me away. To see what they were doing at Fairchild when I went there, I was in awe. These were the smartest people I'd ever met. Critical to Fairchild's appeal was the unique corporate culture that Robert Noyce encouraged. Bob had a very good idea of how the company should behave as a company. He had some pretty egalitarian ideas. He wanted to uh, break down the distinctions between management and workforce. Bob managed by camaraderie. He believed in teamwork, and to him, everybody at Fairchild was part of the team. It's what you could contribute that really counted the most. Everybody was highly competitive to do the best in their job, to make their company the best. Why would we work 10, 12-hour days? It wasn't because somebody told us we had to. We wanted to. We were bullish about where the electronics were going to go. We did not have any hesitation about unlimited growth forever. The atmosphere of the early Fairchild was a combination of a uh, college dormitory or frat house with sort of like a country club locker room. It was basically a bunch of men in their 20s starting to make real money, competing with each other on who had the bigger swagger. It either had to settle down and just become another company, or it had to blow up. It was just too volatile. It was just too much talent stuffed into one place. 